Hey folks, um, welcome to the studio again. Um, I've started to share stuff and some people liked it. Some people didn't, some people did. So for those of you who like it, here it is. Um, this is what I've been working on. When I'm starting a project, um, like a big long project, I get a sketchbook like this, a really cheap sketchbook, 99p from B&M. Um, and then I go through photographs on the computer and make a list with the folder number, the file number, and then just a note of, of what I find interesting about the photograph. And then, um, and then I just go through and draw them. And sometimes I do these exercises in um, strictly timed. So 50 drawings in two hours or something like that. Uh, these I just I just did I was just doing it for myself, um, so they're not about making good drawings by any means, but they're about investigating ideas, changing scale and viewpoints. Um, so these are old personal photographs, just photographs of friends. Um, so most of these will not become paintings, but just one or two. They become paintings. So they're not about trying to make good drawings, but about um, trying out possibilities. Anyway, so, so this, there's lots of those. So this is one of them. Um, I've been working on these at home. And I like the composition of this. And it's based on this photograph of a friend with her little son. Um, and I love the shaft of light, the shape of the, the light and shadow. And then the scale difference between the mother and son, and the fact that she's looking back to him. So it became this drawing, which is more invented, and it started to look like the lake where, near where we live. And he invented diagonal lines in the top right, and I didn't know what those would be. And I decided it looked less like um, grass and more like the lake. So then today I worked on this little painting. It's just 10 by 14 inches. Um, putting the fire on with the pot knife. It's quite invented as a story. The little boy is wading through the water and the, the lady is surprisingly calm. But there's this sense of the, our children um, going through treacherous situations, but we have to trust that they'll get through or something like that. Um, <clears throat> actually, this is the second one. The first one is here which got painted over. Um, so often I'll do that, I'll just slam into a picture um, and then it gets stuck on it. So this was the second one I started when I'd calmed down a little bit. Um, you can still see the pencil line drawings. So I tried to keep it fresh. And then afterwards I worked over this one. I, I saw an artist, a Russian artist's work on Instagram. I'll put in the notes um, and he inspired me by this moonlight lit thing. This top one's not finished. Uh, it's just a, a base colours that I put on with my hands. So you may be able to see my hands are covered in blue paint still. I can't get it off. Anyway, this is just a day in the studio. This is my palette, which is in a bit of chaos right now. But it's really satisfying just to paint. And actually painting is somehow more uh, fluid than drawing. Like with drawing, you're putting lines down and lines are either in the right place or the wrong place. But with, with paint, you can smudge it about and really let the paint do a lot of the work. Anyway, that's what I'm up to today.